Hello, I'm Charles, an engineer at Talonic Instruments. Inrush current measurement is very important. If you manufacture equipment or resell equipment or specify equipment, you need to specify what the initial hit of current is when the unit's first turned on on the mains. We're going to measure that today on this Kikasui electronic load unit. We're going to use this PCR 2000M Kikasui unit to do it. It's an AC source. It's part of the PCRM range, which gives 500, 1000, 2000 and 4000 VA. This one's 2000. So we're going to connect this up. We're going to supply this unit with mains generated by this unit. We're going to plug it in here. This is now feeding this unit here. It's an American connector on the front. On the back of the PCR 2000M is a ring terminal arrangement where you can fit whatever socket you like. So let's do the testing and let's do some setting up now. Okay, we're going to set this unit up now. We need the 270 volt range because this unit is 230 volts. The voltage we're going to set 230. Oh. Frequency can vary that, we have a quarter range, but we're in the UK, so we'll say 50. The current, we want the peak recorded. Now we need to configure the phase, the point at which the main cycle crossing through zero, at what point do we turn the power onto here? We're going to say we need that to happen at 90 degrees, because I think that's around the highest point for the inrush current. Okay, that's set. The time the display figure is shown is set at short here, that's about less than a second. We'll make it long, which is five seconds. Other configuration is all okay. So I think we're ready to rock and roll now. There's the voltage we're going to apply. Here we go, three, two, one. You can see here, nearly 27 amps of inrush. That's displayed for 5 seconds and then it drops back to 0.4 of an amp, which is the normal quiescent case. This electronic load isn't taking any, any it isn't doing anything, it's just, just idling. Now those are the results on the front panel. We can now go away and look at these same results done through software, the software that comes with this unit, which is a bit more sophisticated and there's more facilities in the power analysis sense. So let's go and look at that now. So now we're going to use the manufacturer's software to um, do the same procedure. We need to set the unit, high voltage range, 270 volts maximum. We want to drive our unit the same voltage as last time, 230. Frequency, we're in the UK, 50 hertz. All these are okay. We want to hold the setting for a long time. We want to enable the on phase start, and I think 90 degrees we decided was a good uh, point to get the maximum inrush current. Now I think we're all ready to go. If you're using this in a production line environment, it's very useful to be able to save and restore the settings. For instance, I can recall a previous set of data here, change them, and then save them to a, a memory. Very, very useful. And then, and then recall and store here. If you do a save, you can save it in Excel format for further analysis. But I think we're all ready to go now. We've set the peak reading here. So start the measurement. Here's the readings now, the idle readings. Output on. There we go. The unit started. If, if I stop the measurements now and I'll show you. Here's the mains voltage going into the unit. Nothing and then 230. The current it's drawing is pretty small, but the inrush here, the peak, 27.6 amps. Here's the held value. There's other settings here. There's um, crest factor, watts, VA, reactive VA, power factor. You can do lots of analysis. But I think this proves the point that the inrush current here is a pretty interesting figure, and it's something you need to know. So there we are. That's inrush testing with PCR 2000M.